Hey, I got a great idea. Let's bake a witch cake. Welcome to the Salem Witch Hunt Daily Report for February 25th, 2024. I'm Josh Hutchinson. On February 25th, 1692, Samuel Paris and his wife Elizabeth went to attend lecture in a town nearby. While they were gone, neighbors decided to do some experimenting and see if they could detect the witch that had recently been diagnosed to be afflicting Betty Paris and Abigail Williams but somehow not Betty's brother Thomas or sister Susanna Paris. Anyways, Paris' neighbor Mary Sibley instructed Tituba and John to bake a witch cake to determine who was afflicting Betty Paris and Abigail Williams. The witch cake was made by baking a loaf of rye with the urine of a purported witchcraft victim added to the mix. This disgusting creation was supposed to aid in detecting the one who had bewitched or cursed the children by hurting the witch when the dog ate the cake and thereby giving them away as the person in the village with the limp or the cut in the arm, the tear in the clothes. Somehow it was supposed to help anyways. But when Samuel Paris learned what had transpired in his home, he was aghast and outraged, like serious rage issues here. He soon compelled Mary Sibley to stand before the church while he rebuked her for using diabolical means to detect witchcraft, a going to the devil for help against the devil. Samuel Paris said, By this means it seems the devil hath been raised among us, and his rage is vehement and terrible, and when he shall be silenced, the Lord only knows. The same day the cake was baked, Anne Putnam Jr. and Elizabeth Hubbard became the first persons outside the Paris household to be afflicted. A year later, on February 25, 1693, Rose Foster died in Andover, after supposedly being bewitched for months. That's the report for today. Have a great today and a beautiful tomorrow.